Imagine a place of stunning natural beauty. Volcanic peaks pierce the sky. Lush valleys cascade down to turquoise waters. This was the Hawaiian kingdom before 1893, a land of vibrant culture ruled by its own monarchs. The Hawaiian people lived in harmony with nature. Their lives were deeply intertwined with the land and the ocean. Ancient traditions and customs thrived. The islands were a hub for trade and diplomacy. The Kamehameha dynasty, established in 1810, unified the islands. They navigated complex relationships with foreign powers. Kings and queens sought to modernize their nation. They embraced Western technology and ideas while preserving their heritage. This delicate balance was soon to be tested. The arrival of foreigners brought both opportunities and challenges. Missionaries, traders, and planters saw opportunity in paradise. By the late 19th century, the seeds of change had been sown. Sugarcane, a lucrative crop, transformed the landscape. Large plantations, owned by foreign businessmen, dominated the economy. These businessmen, hungry for power and profit, began to exert their influence on the Hawaiian government. They formed a powerful lobby, advocating for annexation by the United States. Their ambitions clashed with the desires of the Hawaiian people. The monarchy, though weakened, resisted these advances. Queen Liliwokalani, the last sovereign ruler of Hawaii, ascended to the throne in 1891. A wise and courageous woman, she understood the threat posed by foreign interests. Liliwokalani attempted to strengthen the monarchy and protect her people. However, the forces aligned against her were formidable. The stage was set for a dramatic clash of cultures and ideologies. The annexation of Hawaii was not simply about territorial ambition. It was deeply entwined with the economics of sugar. The United States had imposed tariffs on Hawaiian sugar, hurting the profits of American planters in Hawaii. Annexation, they argued, would eliminate these tariffs it would give them a competitive edge in the American market. This economic motive was masked by strategic considerations. The United States was expanding its influence in the Pacific. Hawaii, with its strategic location, was viewed as a valuable prize. A naval base at Pearl Harbor would project American power across the ocean. The growing influence of Japan in the region also fueled the desire for control over the islands. Thus, economic and geopolitical interests converged. The American planters in Hawaii found willing allies in Washington. In 1893, the unthinkable happened. With the support of the U.S. minister to Hawaii and armed U.S. Marines, a group of businessmen and sugar planters overthrew the Queen. They formed a provisional government, hoping for swift annexation by the United States. Queen Lily Wokalani, betrayed by those she had trusted, surrendered peacefully. She did so to avoid bloodshed and a potential war she knew her people could not win. Her poignant words echoed the tragedy of the event. The overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy was a turning point in Hawaiian history. It marked the end of centuries of self-rule. The islands were now under the control of a foreign power. The dreams and aspirations of a people were shattered. This act, driven by greed and ambition, had lasting consequences. It left a scar on the soul of Hawaii. The fight for justice and the recognition of the illegal overthrow continues to this day. The overthrow left Hawaii in a precarious position. The newly established Republic of Hawaii, led by Sanford B. Dole, was a government built on shaky foundations. It lacked legitimacy in the eyes of many native Hawaiians and faced opposition from within and beyond its borders. The United States, initially hesitant about outright annexation, recognized the Republic. Life under the Republic was a time of uncertainty and change for the Hawaiian people. Native Hawaiians, once masters of their own destiny, were now subjects of a government they did not choose. Their lands, once held in common, were increasingly being claimed by foreigners. The traditional ways of life were disrupted. Many felt a deep sense of loss and dispossession. Despite the challenges, the spirit of the Hawaiian people remained unbroken. They resisted the takeover in numerous ways. Some refused to pledge allegiance to the new government. Others continued to practice their cultural traditions. The spirit of aloha, deeply rooted in Hawaiian culture, provided strength and resilience in the face of adversity. The fight for sovereignty, though dealt a severe blow, was far from over. The question of annexation continued to loom large. 
Proponents argued that it would bring stability and prosperity to the islands. Opponents, both in Hawaii and the United States, condemned it as illegal and immoral. The debate raged on for years. Finally, in 1898, under President William McKinley, the United States annexed Hawaii. It became a territory, not a state. Full citizenship for native Hawaiians remained elusive. The long journey toward statehood had begun. The annexation of Hawaii ushered in a period of profound transformation. The islands, once a remote and independent kingdom, were now integrated into the fabric of the United States. This integration came at a cost. The influx of American settlers and capital led to rapid economic development. Plantations expanded, railroads were built, and tourism began to flourish. However, this economic progress often came at the expense of native Hawaiians. They were marginalized in their own land. Their language and culture were suppressed. The traditional system of land tenure was dismantled, leading to widespread land loss. Native Hawaiians were dispossessed of their ancestral lands, their connection to their heritage severed. The plantation economy, dominated by a handful of powerful companies, created a highly stratified society. Native Hawaiians often found themselves relegated to low-paying jobs. The influx of immigrant laborers from Asia and other parts of the world further transformed the demographic landscape of the islands. Hawaii became a melting pot of cultures. The annexation also had a profound impact on the environment. The expansion of plantations led to deforestation, soil erosion, and the depletion of water resources. The delicate ecological balance of the islands was disrupted. The pursuit of profit often took precedence over the preservation of nature. The consequences of this exploitation continue to be felt today. The story of Hawaii is not just a tale of a distant past. It holds profound lessons for us today. It reminds us of the enduring power of culture and the importance of respecting the rights of all people. The illegal overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of imperialism, greed, and the abuse of power. In our modern world, where struggles for power and resources continue to fuel conflict and division, Hawaii's story has a particular resonance. It reminds us that unity and cooperation are essential for peace and progress. As Aesop wisely said, united we stand, divided we fall. This timeless message has never been more relevant. The fight for native Hawaiian rights is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It is a reminder that the quest for justice can span generations. It challenges us to confront the legacies of colonialism and to work towards a more just and equitable world. The story of Hawaii is a powerful reminder that history matters. The past is not simply something to be studied in textbooks. It shapes our present and influences our future. By understanding the mistakes of the past, we can strive to create a better future for all.